Hello everyone, hope you are doing very well in your study. Today's chemistry lesson is about petroleum fractionation and hydrocarbons. Before I proceed further, please subscribe to Jom Study La, yeah? Because in this channel, we provide many free lectures. Without further ado, let's look into our study outline. Our study outline comprises of crude oil, petroleum and fractional distillation, fractional distillation of crude oil, saturated and unsaturated hydrocarbon, alkene, combustion, burning of alkene, cracking of alkenes, reaction of alkene with halogen, combustion of alkenes, reaction of alkenes with bromide, testing with aqua bromide, bromide water, Reaction of alkenes with hydrogen and steam. Petroleum and fractional distillation. Petroleum or crude oil is a mixture of hydrocarbon. Hydrocarbons are compounds which contain hydrogen and carbon only. Source of hydrocarbon is found trapped between impervious layers of rock beneath the surface of earth. Crude oil can be converted into many useful things. So, during refining crude oil, it involves removal of impurities such as sulfur and separation of hydrocarbon mixture by fractional distillation into smaller group of hydrocarbon called fraction. Each fraction has a limited range if relative, relative molecular masses and number of carbon atoms. The fractions are separated because of the difference in their boiling point ranges. An output from fractions is can be useful for fuel and plastic. Fractional distillation of crude oil involves several processes such as firstly petroleum is heated to 400 celsius then there is temperature gradient in the column higher at the bottom than at the top after that as distillation proceeds the more volatile hydrocarbon in the petroleum which have lower boiling points move further up the column and then hydrocarbon with lower mass and shorter change have lower boiling points. Moreover, as hydrocarbon vapor move up the column, the one with lower boiling point move further ahead of those with higher boiling point. And finally, at the particular point in the column, the vapor containing hydrocarbon with particular range of boiling points condense or remove from the column. Below is actually useful tips normally the question might ask uses of fractions or residue are refinery gas like heating and cooking gasoline fuel for cars or petrol kerosene for making jet fuel paraffin diesel fuel for diesel engine gas oil fuel oil fuel for ships and for home heating lubricating oil for example for lubricants polishes and waxes. Saturated unsaturated hydrocarbon. Hydrocarbon with only single bond in their molecules are called saturated hydrocarbon. Example given here is ethane mm -hmm. and propane. And hydrocarbon containing one or more double or triple carbon, which means that carbon bond are called unsaturated hydrocarbon. Example is ethane and propene. Alkene. Alkene are saturated hydrocarbon, only have single covalent bond and unbranched alkene as below. Example given here is methane and ethane. So single bond, single carbon and uh, two carbon and surrounded by the hydrogen. And the other example is propane and butane. Alkene are colorless compounds showing a gradual change in physical properties 
as the number of carbon atom in the Amran change increases. Alkenes are generally unreactive except in terms of combustion, burning, cracking the reaction with halogens in the presence of light. Combustion or burning of alkenes. In the presence of excess oxygen, alkenes burn with a blue flame, which does not appear sooty, meaning that alkenes undergoes complete combustion. CH4 plus 2O2 to form CO2 in a form of gas plus 2H2O in a form of liquid or C3H8 in a form of gas plus 5O2 in a form of gas to form 3CO2 gas plus 4H2O in a form of liquid. If oxygen is not in excess, alkene undergo incomplete combustion. The product of incomplete combustion are carbon monoxide and water. Some carbon are remain unreacted. This may cause yellow and sooty. When balancing equation for combustion reaction, balance the carbon, then the hydrogen. Leave the balancing of oxygen until to the last. Let's look into the cracking alkene. Cracking is a process of converting fractions containing large, less useful hydrocarbon into smaller or more useful hydrocarbon. Kerosene and diesel oil are often cracked to make more gasoline, petrol, more alkenes or hydrogen. Cracking is a form of thermal decomposition. Breaking down of higher alkene into a mixture of lower alkene and alkene by heating or by the use of the catalyst is called cracking of alkene. In catalyst cracking gases, kerosene or diesel, all fractions are passed through a mixed catalyst of silicon, oxide and aluminium oxide at 400 to 500 Celsius. Catalyst cracking produces relatively high proportion of hydrogen for use of gasoline. And below is a chemical equation for decay, which is have a long chain alkene, and to form octane, short chain alkene, plus ethene, which is in a form of alkene. Hydrogen can also be made by cracking at high pressure and at temperature above 700 Celsius, a higher proportion of alkene are formed. Example decay long chain of alkene, 10H22, to form C2H40, which is heptane, which is become short chain alkene, and propene, which is alkene, C3H6, and plus H2, in a form of gas. Reaction of alkene with halogen. Halogen. Alkene do not react with halogens in the dark. In the presence of sunlight or ultraviolet lights, a reaction does take place. When one mole of chlorine react with one mole of methane, a chlorine atom replace a hydrogen atom in the methane. This is the example substitution of reaction. C4, CH4 plus Cl2 to form CH3Cl plus HCl. And substitution reaction is a reaction in which one atom or group of atom in a compound is replaced by another. In the presence of excess chlorine, the hydrogen atoms are substituted one by one until they are not left. This is the chemical equation. Combustion of alkene. Alkene are unsaturated hydrocarbon where you have double bond carbon and surrounded by the hydrogen. And this is example of ethene. And whereas propene, you have about three, one double bond and followed by another carbon. So this is actually 
three carbon and surrounded by the hydrogen. So the complete combustion of alkene in oxygen produces carbon dioxide and water. So this is the equation for combustion of alkene. Reaction of alkene with bromine. Most of alkene reaction are addition reaction. In organic chemistry, addition reaction is a reaction where two molecules combine to give a single product. Alkene react with halogens to form dehalogen alkenes. The halogen act across the double bond and no other product is formed. Bromine react with ethene to form 1,2-D bromoethane. So you can see from this formula, which is bromine reacts with ethene to produce 1 or 2 d bromoethane bromine is red brown in color but 1 2 d bromoethane is colorless so when we add a drop of bromine or bromine to excess alkene the bromide decolorizes Testing with aqueous bromine or bromine water, especially we use it in school. Aqueous bromine water is used to distinguish between alkene and alkene and between saturated and unsaturated compounds. Bromine water is in red brown when concentrated. Bromine water is in orange when it's dilute. So when bromine water is added to alkene in the dark and there is no reaction occur. Bromine water remains red brown or orange. No double bond is present, hydrocarbon is saturated. But when bromine water added to alkene, during or in the dark, there is reaction. What is reaction? Bromine water decolorizes or goes colorless. And the double bond is present and hydrocarbon is unsaturated. This is a reaction of alkene with hydrogen and steam. Let's first look into the reaction alkene with hydrogen. The addition of hydrogen to alkene is to form alkene. Hydrogen gas reacted with alkene at 150 Celsius using nickel catalyst. You can see from this equation whereby nickel is used as a catalyst and to form butane. Butane is actually the alkene. Hydrogenation reaction are used to change vegetable oil into margarine. And let's look into the reaction of alkene with steam. The reaction of alkenes with water or steam to form alcohol. This is called hydration, where in this process it requires temperature 330 Celsius with a pressure 60 to 70 atmosphere and a catalyst of concentrated phosphoric acid. From this chemical equation, you can see that ethane reactions with water to form alcohol, which is ethanol. Right? And using the catalyst, so-called Phosphoric acid. With that being said, hope you all understand the topic presented earlier and wish you all the best in your study. Last but not least, please subscribe to Jom Stadila YouTube channel and follow me at Jom Stadila Instagram. You can get customized notes by accessing the beacon page via Instagram link. Thank you very much.